Acts chapter 16 verse 16 to 20. And it came to pass as we went to prayer a certain damsel, this means a young lady, possessed with a spirit of divination met us which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. Somebody say much gain. The next verse. The same for Paul and us and cried saying these are seven or these men are servants of the most high God which show us the way of salvation. And this did she many days but Paul being grieved. How is a man angry at celebration? Paul being grieved turned and said to the spirit not the woman to the spirit not the girl the girl is saying that these men are from God but Apostle Paul is addressing a spirit and not the girl we're about to address something today I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ come out of her and he came out so who was he praying for a lady who came out she was speaking and he rebuked and it is a masculine that came out so the lady is female but the spirit in her is masculine let's look at verse 20 and brought them to the magistrate saying this man being Jew do exceeding trouble to our city hallelujah life is spiritual a statement you must have heard so many times but I want you to you know catch and grasp the implication of this statement today life is spiritual and as there are markets in the flesh there are markets in the spirit do you get me at all what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul which means there is a market of transaction where a man can give his soul in exchange for something so there are people anyone that gets wealth in an illegal way he thinks he has exchanged his character no he has exchanged his soul to get the wealth and the bible says that what shall it profit the man to gain the whole world and lose his soul so they sustain and they exist much in the spirit there are places you go to where you can give your soul and get fame there are places you go to you can give your soul and get a child there are places you go to you can give your soul and get money and there are so many young and old people who lack the patience to wait upon the lord they begin to bypass the protocols of god they disobey the law of process and they begin to give a currency for physical things they give their soul for merchandise they give their soul for money are you getting me at all so there's something in the economy of the spirit called a marketplace this happened to Jesus in Matthew 4 he said and the enemy came to him and said bow to me I will give you all the kingdoms of the world which means to say he will say it is soul for kingdoms it is loyalty for territories if you give me your soul I will give you power power is not cheap there's a price no wonder Jesus tells us to go out there and win souls so when you give your soul to Jesus he gives you a dimension of the kingdom so even God exchanged kingdom for souls ladies and gentlemen let me submit to you tonight or today that everything the devil does in rebellion most of the principles he learned them from God because he spent some time with God he saw the behavior of of the kingdom and now he understood that God accepts loyalty before giving royalty so he comes to Jesus he said you can just bow to me that word bow means a little compromise it doesn't mean to bow your head it means to break the standard of God just a little it means to deny to do what God says should do just bow and I will give you the kingdoms of this world there was a man called Daniel they told the guy we will give you meat and we will give you wine as you drink it you will be better Daniel did not to drink wine and eat meat because that was a compromise of standard there is a market 
in the spirit when people ascend there they don't come back the same there was a guy called Solomon in the book of first Kings 3 he said he ascended to the high mountain nobody else was there he offered a sacrifice he came down the wealthiest man ever because there is a market in the spirit you can enter on market as a non-entity and you come on an entity you can enter there as a failure you cannot come at the same but the deity you meet there she tell me the state of your soul did you meet Jesus or did you meet the devil there are many young girls who think that when they speak with the man for money it's just a character my practice it's a soul transplant it's a soul x-ray you are worth more than gold how dare you give your body just to have school fees just to have house rent I prophesy they will not take your soul from you the Lord shall preserve your life lift your hands shout hallelujah sin of the world Romans 1 verse 20 I'm coming to my sermon somebody must catch a fire today a boy a boy a tia tataka Lord's power is not free what is the lamb that was slain to receive power? Power is not free. Any man making a common impact has visited the market of the spirit. People don't just gather for you. Whether you are a madman or a sin man, people, oh my God, something has to bring them. People don't just choose your shop over the other shops. Your shop must have a voice calling customers. My God, people don't just choose you for marriage. Your head must carry a power calling men towards you. So a sister goes to a shrine to talk about a man that doesn't love her. And when she talks about the man, they give her a charm. As she rubs that charm, the same man begins to call her. What is making the man to call who he hates? It's because she went to a market in the spirit and she took a thing called favor. has been lost to keep faith that will fail you don't ascend there and come down the same you don't ascend there and come as usual there are many of you here you have never gone to that mountain you are still entering Muna market you have entered Boya market Bamenda market but there is a market in the spirit sir you can enter there and buy priesthood Ade, Ando, Asa what about the woman called Hannah there was nothing like priesthood in Hannah's lineage, but she entered a market on the altar. If you give me a son, I will give him back trade by butter, trade by butter. Give me a son, I will give him back to you. That's why a woman bought a son and gave God the priest. I prophesy in this market today, you are catching a fire. Hey! Oh Jesus. It says in Romans 1 verse 20 For the invisible things of him From the creation of the world Are clearly seen What is seen? The invisible things Are clearly seen How? Being understood by the things which are made So God is seen for Apostle Paul That there is an attempt God made a work called the spiritual world And because it cannot be understood He has to create the physical to explain the spiritual so if there are schools in the flesh he said for in the last day Isaiah 2 it says that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be above the mountains he said and nations shall come to say let us go to the house of the Lord of Jacob let him teach us so there's a school in the spirit where God is the lecturer there's a school in the spirit where God handles the courses have you been there T.B. Joshua said a point came in his life where humans could not teach him he will yes spirit will appear and will be teaching him a language that not exist in the flesh about six years ago I mean three times or so I was just in my house and I just received a message SMS you may think I'm lying from Jesus SMS 2 a.m. I read SMS from Jesus. I will read the SMS. I sleep and wake up, it has disappeared. It's no longer there. I got to a point in my life where God will come down and show me what these things mean. There's a market in the spirit. Oh Lord, I don't have the wisdom my friends have. Anyone that wants wisdom should ask of God who give without partiality. Once there is a meeting of transaction, there's no denier. So you went to God for a dimension and didn't get it because there was no medium of transaction. Mm. 
it's okay i am teaching today on satanic merchandise satanic merchandise there are places where men give their souls for faith whether in god or in darkness pastor your normal christian life can give you something so there is a height beyond if you want to become uncommon listen to me you did nothing to be called a servant of god but you will do something to be a servant of god that is an example to other servants of god where you stand there is a risk it takes to afford the level you are looking for and many believers don't know that there are markets in the spirit satanic merchandise child of god in the book of mark chapter 8 verse 36 to 37 let's go there very fast Right there, you're writing. Your soul is a currency. The soul of a man is a currency. It buys things. <laughs> but woe unto thee, where you're not aware, and the enemy uses your soul to buy things. I'm coming there. I'm coming there now. Look at that. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So there's a possibility of owning the world. Lose your soul. But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Which means the soul is given to take something. Watch me as I'm coming to you. Ladies and gentlemen, satanic merchandise. What is satanic merchandise? Now, let me say this. Where we read, there was a young girl who had a future but some people knowing her gift she had the gift of prophecy and foresight because she had a gift they had to use her they conjured a demon and put in her the more she's possessed the more they are having possession the more she is oppressed the richer they become apostle Paul cast out a demon now before that he said for they made much money through her us by soothsaying so they were using her incapacitation to gain capacity they were using her devastation to gain a place in life could this mean there are people who may be using your star to power their industry you think i'm joking there are madmen that walk the street they are the reason why some people are succeeding in the locality listen to me life is full of energy there's an energy to be alive there's an energy to get married so the enemy understands that life is a marketplace so he can take the energy of favor from a man's head when you were younger you had strange favor but before you knew it people just stopped favoring you before you knew it what happened to my favor it was taken by the market of the spirit so the more oppressed you are the more excelling your enemies become a lady's oppression was the source of wealth of a group of people you know what i will show it to you get angry that my possession could it mean your poverty can be the reason why some people are rich they are mixed of age exchange an old woman is about to die and she calls her grandchild and the grandchild thinks she loves her come and see me before i go just come and greet me and when they salute the woman understands the hezekiah anointing that can suck 12 years from the spirit 15 years and so she look at the young girl this young girl has a bad future the mother greets her and collect 30 years if she has mercy collect 30 years before you know with a young girl that had to die at 60 she died at 30 because somebody chanted her age they collected her age the spirit maybe you think i'm joking but it's very serious isaiah told hezekiah you will die hezekiah did a market transaction and god said baby 15 years for there's a praise he did that praise was equal to 15 years age could it mean this day you don't dance in church one day he said they got john the baptist and the daughter of herod danced and she took his head where was he he was not dancing he was depressed because praise is a currency that are first deliverance he said when paul and silence were in the prison they began to praise god as they praised the lord the prison gates were opened from the foundation they are for that deliverance by praise can i prophesy the lord is setting somebody free as you raise a praise the lord shall raise a nation else 
sit down for a while. See, I want to say some things that will trigger you to be angry and to look for deliverance. Pastor Noise, I'm serious. Do you know how many young men are held down by certain life? So demons want to sell cocaine. So they enter some boys and the guys become addicted to cocaine. Now, the guy's addiction is the profit of the people that cause the addiction. So the more the girl is possessed by demons, the more gain the people have. Could this mean that somebody is profiting from my failure? Somebody is profiting from my stagnation. Your soul is a currency. Imagine what your soul can buy. Who is holding your soul as we speak? All what you could be, somebody has become through your soul. Okay, you are not angry yet. No, sir, there's an energy called favor. You buy it in the market with the spirit. You buy it there. When they came upon Esther, where there were how many girls there? Esther was favored because an energy came on her oh jesus there are people that are alive but what they lack is the energy to make impact so they are working like empty containers the energy it takes to succeed in business has been taken from them so they are in business but they are useless in business because it takes an energy to make the business profitable what happened? You'll be reduced to a life of suffering. The lady's life was compressed and suppressed so that some people can make profit. I'm coming. What is satanic merchandise? Number one, it's a platform in the spirit by which exchange of anything for anything is possible. It's a platform in the spirit by which exchange of anything for anything is possible. A woman goes to a shrine and gives a fowl, they give her a child, and she wants the child to be better than a fowl. The child will be like a fowl. A woman goes to a shrine and gives yam and gives it to a child. The child becomes yam. Physical child but has a yam destiny. It sounds like it's funny, but if you know what happens in the spirit, for me, you left a place and death followed you. You don't know. You come off funeral, death followed you to the house it's like a bad dream you left a friend's house and a dog in the spirit began to follow you there are people a spirit fell in love with them and they don't know it's that spirit that makes any man that asks you out to change his mind because a spirit has need of you your single hood is the servicing of the spirit hood he needs your womb to give birth to other nephilims it's okay i'm not even going it's true so there are people that is a spirit that's kept them single because the spirit needs them that every time he needs reproduction he sleep with them at night then hide the dream from them so there are people that have incubus and succubus spiritual husband and spiritual wife and don't know because every time they are done they delete the data in the mental realm so you think you are free but you have nine kids somewhere satanic merchandise angels came on earth and to rebel against god they had to sleep with human women and give birth to some giants they used the womb of the women to create something that will not be deleted may you not be used negatively never you answer me at all your stubbornness is swelling an altar and you don't know the moment you stay stubborn you deny to yield to the demands of god an altar is victorious the latest possession was their prosperity i went to a kingdom one time in that kingdom i saw a stream of blood just blood after the stream of blood i saw where they make flesh because the life of the flesh is the blood there's a mission of using blood to make flesh physically not joking blood to make flesh <laughs> so when god needed a flesh he had to use the blood of mary enter her womb so that her womb can partner with him his spirit and put flesh on the spirit so he said abortions accidents miscarriages all happen here so when women are both children the blood is there accidents the blood is there and they use the blood to give flesh to certain spirits that become 
some are sent to churches some are sent to government they are the ones causing problem everywhere they become satan spy agents in those places i know what i'm saying may sound very funny but it's true it's very true one guy can be the guy in his car can be that the guy said, down here i gave that prophecy can be that at midnight to drop her where she was going to he didn't know her let me just help somebody they discussed for about five minutes when they were done discussing they get disappeared as she disappeared he felt something leave him he left from being a car owner he's useless in boya town to speak very useless the girl didn't appear for nothing the girl came to collect something because there's something in the guy an energy to build estate was in him so they took the energy and they give their own children why does the devil's children succeed but god's children are suffering it's because they took from us he said the riches of the gentile belongs to you why is it in their hands satanic merchandise you don't know some of you they have used your energy you are very hard working but no result because somebody has built an estate somewhere with the star imagine the wise man could read the star of jesus and locate him so some spirits followed you by your star came to your house it may not be for everybody but it's a market in the spirit they took your academic future and they are using it to prosper their own kingdom but thank god because somebody is rising here today as a different kind of person you will no longer be a victim in the name of jesus christ oh sit down for the while number two i like this one what is satanic merchandise it is the monetization of affliction and evil i've been waiting for this point since last week uh, if you know what they call monetization it means to put money on a thing it means to put a financial gain on a thing it is the monetization of affliction and evil this means it is the art of putting a price on wickedness <laughs> uh, when I write the message it made more meaning to me you think I'm joking it is the art of putting a price on wickedness write this down certain spirits will be rewarded if they make you feel God told me this one very clear he said there are demons that didn't come from your background but the demons from your background have been fighting you they cannot succeed so they have put a monetization policy on your affliction and they have stole the demon spirit anyone that can successfully make you fail we get a rank in the spirit are you aware that even angels change rank it's true when an angel does well god increases their rank so when demons do well satan updates their rank so some demons are fighting you because there is monetization on your head there is a price tag to bring you down there's a price tag to keep you single there's a price tag to keep you afflicted nobody said me at all do you know what that means in the kingdom of darkness your picture may be there right now wanted dead or a this means to say sometimes some men gathered they took a 40 days fast they say until apostle Paul dies they will not eat or drink they swore by their life because there was a monetization ladies and gentlemen there are demons who have increased in rank because they scattered your business because they succeeded the devil added their rank after today, I will disappoint the enemy. It is not for my blood. You will make money. My blood is bitter. My head is a to this mean there are people here now your family their whole picture is in the kingdom of hell wanted dead or alive who can stop mr o'neill so mr o'neill keep praying sometimes you wake up in the night you don't know why you woke up there's something is pushing you to intercede they got a merchandise a demon of the promised money the devil told the demon if you can make that girl to have sickle cell you can make that guy to be mad i will make you an army general so they are fighting with your life because it's a price on your head 
Listen to me. You may think I'm joking. We talk about the Marcus something. There was a monetization on something of fiction. They got the girl called Delilah. We are going to pay you money. You can bring us the man something. Which means to say, some demons have been promised money. If they can bring you down, it is not a joke, it's a business. Your affliction is a business for them. Keeping you down, profits them. They will have bad markets. They will have bad markets. Hey, they came to Judas. He was your master. He may give you money. Then there was monetization on the attack on Jesus. Some spirits fight you because they have been promised a reward. Hey, they have been promised a reward. They told the spirit, keep that boy out of church. I will give you money. The demon does his best on a Sunday morning. He said, I will come to church. Suddenly, you start feeling sick in your body. It is demonic monetization. Suddenly, your dress gets missing. It's satanic merchandise. A demon is in your room. He has an assignment to stop you from going to church. Child of God, there are demons assigned to bring down the holy name of God. So sometimes the pastor is in the house all by himself. Then he begins to rise. He starts feeling sexual. Before the pastor knows it, he begins to call some sisters. He thinks it's the body, it's not the hormone. They have put a price on your holiness. You are not answering me at all. You are not angry. I wish your eyes to open the spirit to see how many demons they have your picture. They have held it. Want the death of our life. Bring him to us. Let him work for us or kill him if he works for God. You think the people who are mad want to be mad? You think the girls who are sick want to be sick? They say demon has an assignment to keep you sick until keep her sick and increase in rank so a demon is still in office today because you are out of office there's about to be a merchandise i'm a priest of yahweh i stand as your apostle paul and i prophesy let them lose their business tonight sit down what is it the monetization of affliction Madam Gwen, there are demons assigned to fight your children and they have paid them well. If one thing the devil knows how to do, he knows how to reward. He rewards demons to keep you where you are. You ask yourself, why do you know this demon? Why is he fighting me? There's a price on your head. Delilah does not love you. Delilah's emotional change is because there's an amount placed on the head of Samson. Samson got to a point where there was a price tag for his affliction. So somebody wants you to fail and they have paid the price for it. As a notice, for make a big man of God fall into fornication, eh? it takes a certain demon that has a certain price. So demon keeps trying. Each try, you resist them. Each try again. Why? His salary is at the mercy of your destruction. You know, I wasn't taking this very serious. Until God minds again, God told me there is demonic monetization. Where somebody, a spirit, puts a price on your affliction. Keep that get down with masturbation, and I will make sure you never lose your place in the spirit. Keep that boy down with alcohol, and you will remain a gentleman in the army forever. Keep that church small, and I will increase your rank. So when you start fighting the demons, they start retaliating because their survival and their ambience is at the mercy of their ability to keep you down. Does this mean my affliction is prospering a kingdom? Not anymore. You know, Shimato, what is satanic merchandise? It is the exchange of immaterial for material and material. Let me say it again. Is the exchange of immaterial for immaterial and material? Yes. Is the exchange of immaterial for immaterial and material? So you give something you cannot touch for something you can't touch or something you can touch. So satanic merchandise is when they give something they can't touch. To
to take something they can't touch or something they can't touch this bring me to the point of what many people are going through you the work as well you get fine clothes fine suit fine gown but they have already transacted your destiny value you are just a container waiting for your day of death because there's no impact in your spirit you are an empty container waiting for your day of death can't you see year in year everything is changing god's time is the best really what currency do you have to buy that time in the future it has been stolen because you don't even know many people made plans when i grow up i'll buy this they've grown up but they are growing out not still succeeded that your uncle or auntie who is at the age she or he is now and is still suffering they did not plan it so there was a transaction in the spirit you are talking no? immaterial hey immaterial there are people that are walking dead because they are empty the essence of their living has been stolen by spirits i told you there are women no matter how they conceive the child comes out an altar is feeding Say no it's biological science is any attempt to explain mysteries without the help of god so science gives a title to what was caused by demons because they don't want to give god the glory but the truth is that most of these things have demon roots jesus meets a guy who is dumb and rebukes the demon he say and the demon was dumb when the demon left the guy began to speak so the guy was not dumb the demon in him was dumb so the dumb demon wants to talk and because he cannot talk he enters a guy and uses the guy's talking ability so the demon can speak in the spirit because the boy cannot speak in the flesh he didn't catch that one so some spirit now of course they are what they call blind spirits in case you don't know yes some demons are blind they can't see so what is satanic merchandise i take your eye i see in my realm so in your realm you cannot see because i've taken your sight and i use my own realm so the demon is seen because he took your sight how can a young boy not talk a demon has taken the grace to talk from him and was speaking with the guy's voice in the spirit and the guy cannot talk who has taken your glory i don't know who has taken i know of men 10 years serving god nothing to show 20 years they have dedicated life to God. They have given themselves to God. They have nothing to show. They are tired of being tired. Who has taken my eyes and is seen in the spirit and I cannot see in the flesh? Does this mean that a spirit can be doing well in business because they took your business star? It's doing well. It's doing well. It's succeeding. Because they took your grace to succeed. Abba. Today, I prophesy, whoever took your eyes, I declare, let there be a restoration now. A restoration now. Whoever took your baby, whoever took your career, whoever took your destiny, today, as a priest of Yahweh, let there be a restoration. Could this mean that somebody has broken my home to send the grace to fix her own? Could this mean that the reason why I have anger in the flesh because a spirit that has anger wanted self-control they took my self-control and they gave me their anger now in the spirit the angry demon has self-control in the flesh the first sister has anger who has expression who has I prophesy you are receiving your destiny back receive it back receive it back Hey! Say my blood is bitter! Say Father! No demon will excel on my destiny! Clap your hands and pray! 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 Or run the prophetic Shut the bitch up! Shut the bitch up! 
Who loves the revelation? Can I declare? No, no, Pastor Levis, they cannot be seen with my eye. And I am blind. Elisha had a son. The son could not see. The spirit took his eye. He said, Let's now pray, Father, open his eye. We will step from a realm and give to a realm. As you get to me at all. When a man becomes rich, it is not because God gave him riches. The God simply took where it was. Child of God. You are rich in the spirit. They broke in the flesh. There must be an excess today. Lord. Lord. Is my brother hearing me? My sister hearing me? My mother and my father. We have lived under our person for a long time. We know that this level is not our level. Any exchange, we exchange it back. Change it back. We have changed it back. Sit down. Hey. That you are doing ministry and you are in a mystery. Satan does not create. Let me shock you. Let me shock you now. Is the word of God doing you good? Somebody's not angry yet. Who, Levis? Where's your picture? They say, Bring us Levis dead or alive. And you are enjoying life. You don't know they have monetized your affliction. You don't know that a spirit has been employed. To look for verse 6. Satan does not own things. Do not create them. Look for verse 6. And I fast. Yet not I. I fast. Look at that. What do you go? I give you why and the glory of them why and transaction he said they gave me I can give you I mean I didn't own it originally Adam gave me for what for fruit Satan had sickness Satan had banishment he gave Adam and took Adam's an exchange that sickness will bow today because the merchandise is over Matthew 27 verse 3 and I fast yet not I satanic merchandise now I'm talking about people but one day I'm talking about satan himself because don't forget in the spirit, look at this. We see in the book of Isaiah 14 and in the book of Ezekiel 28, Lucifer used to rule the earth. In case you don't know, he's the only angel God anointed. Why? Anointing is an earthly currency, not heaven. So, because Michael stays in heaven, Gabriel in heaven, he didn't anoint them. He anointed Lucifer because Lucifer used to come down to the pre Adamic race. He said, The multitude of their merchandise has filled you. So, Lucifer used to be a businessman, Lucifer. He was a businessman on earth. He was a king, a businessman, an angel. Yes. So he's good in business. And many of us, our lives have been taken from us. He. Who is prospering on my failure? Then Judas, which had betrayed him. What happened? Uh huh. And brought again so there was a price on the head of Jesus and you think you are free 
in the book of John 20, he said, For the servant is not bigger than the master. If I was hated, you'd be hated. So if they put a price on him, as I'm talking to you right now, sir, there's a price on your head. Spirit, oh spirit, I will make sure that anything you say will happen if you can just make levies to fail in ministry. And you think that that resistance in your spiritual life is normal. A demon has vowed because he wants merchandise. There are people who are prophets, but they go to church. They have prophetic grace. They don't even know. It has been swept. One makes my using it. The king gave four eyes, they call him. The child has four eyes. What they call the fourth eye. The child can see specially. The mother put it to the shrine. And the Mexican now remove the eye for free. Why? The payment is the eye. He adds it to his eyes. Because Jesus has seven eyes. I won't show you. It's called the seven spirits of God. In the realm of God, he sees from seven dimensions. So there are some spirits that see because they took it from a child. Your child is a gift from God. Than for you to help the child's gift, not to see demons. I will come and tell you, Papa. I only see demons. Close your eyes from darkness. Open your eyes to light. That's all. That's all. Just close the eye to a realm. Open to a realm. But the Mexican took the eye, added to his cupboard. Now he's seen with the strength of that new revelation, and that baby can no longer see. He grows up, and when the time has come where the gift has to be in use, there's no gift. You're joking. That Satan took Moses the deliverer and gave him comfort. <laughs> hey, gave him comfort. The guy was living a good life. That was the exchange for his priesthood. He didn't know. There are people, comfort is the exchange for your priesthood. Simple. The devil gave you a visa to exchange for your ministry. He can pay any price for your soul because your soul can give him the wealth. Now you know, no. Your soul is value. Sir, that a girl will give her soul to rent house. To rent house. You have to lie. Compromise. Satanic merchandise. Then they can give you a visa to close your ministry forever. Oh, open door, open door. I give you five years. It's closed. Five years. You are no more into ministry. I have a guy who began to enter all kind of businesses. The guy had passion and fire. As we speak, we don't know where he is. He ran from Boya, owing almost everybody. I'm talking about a man of fire that uh, that guy evangelized. I mean, under rain, under sun, he can win your son till your soul is won. He can convert the pastor. As we speak, we don't know where the guy is. He ran out of ministry because they exchange his ministry for cash. Gehazi. Naman does not give money for free. In Naman's money is Naman's leprosy. There are seeds you eat. You have taken a certain thing you didn't want. Why did Elisha refuse the money? Elisha did not have the desire to deal with that leprosy. Gehazi thought that my master hates money. No, it's not that I hate money. But that money is a satanic merchandise. They want to give me cash and give me sickness. So some people give you thought they love you, but they call you something bigger. Now you always get sick because somebody gave you cash. I met a guy who became very strong. He was a millionaire. He became nothing. Somebody gave him a gift, 2000 Gift. Money for money. The money that has a magnetic force. The people that give you money, it goes to your cupboard and it begins to attract money instead to them. So their money becomes a butter. He opens your money, sir. Passing through. Think I'm joking. Where's Yvette? I give him more money. 100 francs. Remember? What happened? She said money did not finish in the house. Everything she wanted to do, she did them. Somebody gave her money. My money became a butter. Sir, there are two kinds of beggars. Some beggars are a butter to poverty, and some are a butter to riches. There are people who are not beggars. They are a gate to poverty. Satan kept them there to make emotional Christians put their money in a coffer that has to offer a coffin. Some people, after a good act, they lost their child. You show somebody love and you lost your destiny. Some beggars are potters. Put your money in their hand. 
That's all. Don't give by emotion. Give by direction. Except you have the power to deal with what we are giving. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Satanic merchandise. Somebody comes to your shop and buys one bed. You think they like you. He wants to use the bed to stop other people from coming to buy. I want to see Africa. Eh? It's not a joke. Person can't come buy bread for your shop. Then goes without bread, doesn't eat it, puts the bed on an altar. As long as that bed is on that altar, you cannot succeed in business. They carry your one product to their altar. That's all. As the thing is in that altar, let me see how you succeed in business. Let me see. They have put the entire shop. Say, I'm not selling. I'm not selling. One guy, a girl gave him a suit. That suit was a portal to immorality. Pursue the man delivered him. As he wore that suit, girls that cannot attract him normally began to appeal to him. He has slept with many of them and the entire crusade. Pursue the man said, The suit that he gave you, yes, sir, bring it. As they set the thing on fire, the guy began manifesting the demon. The gift was a gate to a demonic realm. Who gave you a chain? Who gave you a book? Who gave you a pen? Who gave you, who gave you a dress to wear even? How can they carry, carry clothes? Satanic merchandise. Who has monetized your affliction? You're not angry yet, right? Show me your face. Life is what is the use of Judas repenting after I've been arrested? Are you repenting? You don't sponsor the regret. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have already scandalized me. It's not a joke. Some things you call government contract is government contact. They want to connect your spiritual umbilical cord to a source, keep you down. They are, the day they had a job their desire for God died it's not because they have a job that job was a gate to keep them out of God forever and ever my father gave you 10,000 in the camp he came and gave me I can't use it it's my word I can't use it it's a gate if we say airport who's that playing Golan? you need the answer me now. if we say airport who's that playing Golan? There are monies you receive. Don't buy with it. If I give you money, Shrek, keep the money. Let's give money, go pay your school fees, and then eat on merchandise. That money, say, what's your pass? He helped me, he helped me, he didn't help you. He held you. Yes. You don't even know. What did Apostle say? He said, don't despise the gift that came by what? Laying of my hands. A woman touched Jesus in Matthew 9. Something left him. No, no, no. I said, eh, something left God. A woman touched Papa God in the flesh. Something left him. Jesus lost something by contact. He was going to heal Jarvis' daughter that died at the age of 12. The woman had a 12 years problem. She looked at him and by spiritual merchandise, she collected another person's miracle. So if Jesus was not sensitive, he will arrive at home without the power to change the case. So sometimes in the taxi, on your way to pray for that person, the grace to heal her was collected by a mama that could see. The mama could see you carry a power, but you don't know. As she became her, just shift so as she shifted, I collect. Collect her. You now when the, you know you can prophesy. Why is your eye closed? They took it now. Don't take her. You have arrived. But where's the power? Open your hands. Whatsoever was falling from you as a priest of God, today there shall be double restoration. Some person touched Jesus. He lost something. He stood. He said, Virtue has left me. Hey, me, sir. Who is talking? Who? Somebody touched Jesus. He said, Hey, I don't feel normal. Power has left me. Who did you greet? Not everybody like you. Some power spiritual. 
they don't greet for fancy they greet for transaction people are wicked too some boy don't go shrine don't tell the boy any girl you can do this with the grace in her to become a millionaire you collect it he now calls you gives you chicken you eat and then touch you somewhere as he touch you you go home feeling different you may be alive but the power to make you survive as an alive woman is no longer there you are an empty container waiting for your day of death a boy is succeeding on the strength of your star you call him a scammer many of these scammers name boya one guy came to me and confessed and said sir i got diabolic as a scammer they have to take girls destinies and the girls didn't know you are eating big fish but you are the fish you are the fish you are the meal so why boy go sleep will you give 500,000 wait some get the limit and 1,000 why will a guy sleep with you for 500,000 who are you so if he can give me 500k to sleep with me what do I really have in the spirit that he has seen Imagine me being a pastor and the oil to function is no longer there. I come and start telling stories. I went there. This happened. What happened here? You remember that, right? Did a short person get tall? Eh? Good. He was in that crusade. The first thing I did, I said, you come. A lady who was short, you were there. Her height increased instantly. I'm not just talking. I prayed for seven hours in the car. I'm going to remember that. Seven hours. They cannot sit on the road. There are highway spirits. Hey, you want to go and get a visa and they see the star to get it because your pastor's prayer became a currency they collect it and they impact their children with it so unbeliever has visa the believer is suffering that error must be corrected I hear Solomon say I've seen a wonder on the earth a great wickedness he said I've seen sons they are walking on foot the servants are on horses what happened I prophesy every demonic ex you are taking it back. You are taking it back. Let me do and close. Let's just attire of a preach pastor. Judges 16, verse 5. You can sit down. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. He went to evangelize. You know, so you know, the guy you went to preach to is a great satanist. You don't know. So okay, man, pray for me. As you hold hands, it leaves, enters. You leave back. Papa, I'm no longer seeing clearly again, no. Where did you go? Simple. Mama, madam, papa, brother. Person touched Jesus. Something living. One time God told me. There is someone that touches your Bible, you lose something. Satanic merchandise. Look at that. Want to very go? Yes? Yes. Look for a way. Uh huh. And afflict him, yes? Want to monetize his affliction. So go and tell him you love him. Some people don't love you. They have been sent to end your ministry. He didn't touch you. They have been sent to end your business. But thank God for this meeting. Where we read, we discovered that a young lady's possession was the prosperity of her masters. They kept her down to remain up. I told people, I said, when you miss church, the demon that kept you home came to church to collect what was for you in that church. You think it's a joke? It's true. Job missed a meeting. Lucifer answered her present. The sons of God gather. Where is Job? He's enjoying with his children. They said, okay, since I stop you, let me go attend. Ah. I came for him. Give me church now. I'm here. Give me. 
One day a man missed a meeting. He missed a prayer time. It's on it. Every time you have to pray, it's a chance to go to court. He missed a prayer time. Lost everything. Merchandise. Consecrate me now. I want you to understand that some people use evil occurrences for their business. There is no profitless affliction. It always profits the one causing it. You see a young man held down by addiction and demonic lifestyle. They don't know they are profiting the enemy. Luke chapter 8 verse 45 and 46. Luke chapter 8 verse 45. Are you ready to pray? Let's look at that scripture. Look at that. Let's read together. Who touched me? Said Master, with the crowd and they press you. How can you say who touched you? Why? There are greetings and there's a greeting. There's a greeting with a motive. Solomon says, Her eyelids seduce thee. Let me not catch that one. There are women that their eye is an invitation. They didn't catch that now. You know, talk, but don't ask you out. Now you go to ask he out so that I may take you out of life. He says, Somebody has touched me for I perceive virtue is gone out. He said, Energy has left me. Be careful of the gatherings you go to. My ex, 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 secrets, ex, baptist, rets, ex, lycerets, we are meeting, gathering, gathering, gathering. Some people coming off an assignment. Let me see we do better than us. Let's collect it. The world is wicked. You're a young girl. They send you to boy to, you know, study or do whatever you're doing. And you're messing up. I hope you know that that guy driving those big cars that slept with you is strong because of you. Just hope you know. Not man. Give money with leprosy. You are eating seed. Do you have grace to cancel leprosy? Since I'm sending a seed, sometimes demons accompany sacrifice. How to deal with satanic merchandise? Number one, spiritual sensitivity. I'm going to ask my open When they came to your house, right? Late at night. I didn't even greet her. God says something ought to happen. Go there and pray. I went to the world because I saw something. You can be so close to death and not know. You are dying now. Wine. Look at Job's children. Job's kids were one minute to die and they were drinking wine. They didn't know that they are quarter to exist in the earth. Five minutes for an accident. Everybody in the car is discussing. Five minutes after they are in eternity on a line going for judgment five minutes five minutes ago the guy was talking to his girlfriend with all joy i'm coming to see you one minute after the guy's in eternal line waiting for judgment and the bodies left to be buried because he did not know that after this call is a higher call i was in kumba you're there that was the church oh prophecy oh remember that, that program Possess for church, big big church, the whole row, one after the other. They carry me in the car to another church again. I possess for the whole church. When I got home, one of the texts him and said, Sir, I saw you dying, and I had a computer that is from God. Sir, I saw you dying. Eh. I said, I can't die. I entered the room. I took a 30 minutes prayer. I pray until prayer knew that he has prayed. Sir, I pray until I sweat from head to pant. Don't pray until you are tired. Pray until the power is tired. He has hammer. You have no hammer. He that is on the way to hammer, hammers prayer. Nobody is praying with me today. Are you angry at where you are? Your eyes must be open. That old woman that wants to take your life, she wants to increase her age. With your age, she will not succeed. 
fire will burn that kingdom today number two you need power the kingdom of god is not in work it is in it is in before you open your shop open your heaven there's a market now before you open your shop open your heaven before you look for a man to date open your heaven it's a power person ladies and gentlemen when paul saw the lady ladies and gentlemen so the fame of paul let the masters to send the girl to say it's a man of god if he endorse a confession we increase your business they will power jump the lesser power shall bow the boss for her come to her he look beyond the girl after today you look at your mother look at your brother which demon is in her that wants to take my priesthood since i rebuke you the demon left the business closed power is the currency that can bail you out of satanic merchandise power is the currency can bail you out. Let me suit your age. You have to live to 90. That's a speak right now. On your head is 40. Something must happen. You must enter demonic warehouses and collect our things by fire. For no one. A strong man's house and spoil is good, but if you find a strong man, you can't be sick every month. You need power, you need power, you need power. Who took my star? Who took my glory? Power. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. Are you fail or not? I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. It's the same yesterday. It's the same today. It's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power 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 is on your no more oppression. No more oppression. I am free from satanic merchandise. Who stole my grace? Who stole my gift? Who stole my calling? Who stole my passion? Who stole my favor? Who stole my glory? Hey! Restore, restore. I hear the Bible say, I will restore the years. The womb, the palm womb, the people's eating. I will restore, restore my eyes. I want to see, but I cannot see well. Restore my eyes. Blindness first. Fire next. Restore my ministry growth. Blindness first. Fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next. You stole my marriage. Blindness first. They are not watching me right now. You are at a point in your life. Nothing to suffer because somebody put a merchandise on your destiny. You may think you have money. They think about it. You can be more than this. Who enter your shop and took your product to an altar? Who entered the church? One woman came here one time. Some months ago, a woman came here and was touching some chairs in church. Was touched the chairs. She began to move like a snake. She was manifesting. What was she doing? She was planting a demon here. And I saw the woman. She began to kabash. And the power broke out. Who entered my house with an agenda? You tell me with an agenda. Just pray. We cannot end here. We cannot end here. We cannot end here. This is not my level. If you address this step, you take it. Yeah. If you 
soon the step will take it off. Shaka 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 Who loves the revelation? Can I declare? No, no, Pastor Levis, they cannot be seen with my eye. And I am blind. Elisha had a son. The son could not see. The spirit took his eye. He said, Let's now pray, Father, open his eye. Which means step from a realm and give to a realm. As you get to that door. When a man becomes rich, it is not because God doesn't reach us. God simply took where it was. Child of God. That you are rich in the spirit. They broke in the flesh. There must be an excess today. Lord. Lord. Is my brother hearing me. My sister hearing me. My mother and my father. We have lived on our person for a long time. We know that this level is not our level. Any exchange, we exchange it back. We exchange it back. We exchange it back. <laughs> Sit up. Hey. That you are doing ministry and you are in a mystery. Satan does not create. Let me shock you. Let me shock you now. Is the word of God doing you good? 
27 verse 3 and I fast yet not I satanic merchandise now I'm talking about people but one day I'm talking about satan himself because don't forget in the spirit look at this we see in the book of Isaiah 14 and in the book of Ezekiel 28 Lucifer used to rule the earth in case you don't know he's the only angel God anointed why anointing is an earthly currency not heaven so because Michael stays in heaven Gabriel in heaven, he didn't anoint them. He anointed Lucifer because Lucifer used to come down to the pre Adamic race. He said, The multitude of their merchandise has filled you. So, Lucifer used to be a businessman. Lucifer, he was a businessman on earth. He was a king, a businessman, an angel. Yes. So, he's good in business. And many of us, our lives have been taken from us. He. Is prospering on my failure. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, what happened? Uh huh. And brought again. So there was a price on the head of Jesus. And you think you are free? In the book of John twenty, he said, "For the servant is not bigger than the master. If I was hated, you'd be hated. So if they put a price on him, as I'm talking to you right now, sir." There's a price on your head. Spirit or spirit, I will make sure that anything you say will happen if you can just make levies to fail the ministry. And you think that that resistance in your spiritual life is normal. A demon has vowed because he wants merchandise. There are people who are prophets, but they go to church. They have prophetic grace. They don't even know. It has been swept. One next man using it. The king get four eyes, they call him. The child has four eyes. What they call the fourth eye. The child can see specially. They want to present to the shrine. And the maximum now remove the eye for free. Why? The payment is the eye. He adds it to his eyes. Because Jesus has seven eyes. I won't show you. It's called the seven spirits of God. In the realm of God, he sees from seven dimensions. So there are some spirits that see because they took it from a child. Your child is a gift from God. Then for you to help the child's gift. Not to see demons. I will come and tell you, Papa, I only see demons. Close your eyes from darkness. Open your eyes to light. That's all. That's all. Just close the eye to a realm. Open to a realm. But the maximum took the eye. Added to his cupboard. Now he's seen with the strength of that new revelation. And that baby can no longer see. He grows up. And when the time has come. Where the gift has to be in use. There's no gift. Are joking that Satan took Moses the deliverer and gave him comfort. <laughs> hey, give 
gave him comfort. The guy was living a good life. That was the exchange for his priesthood. He didn't know. There are people, comfort is the exchange for your priesthood. Simple. The devil gave you a visa to exchange for your ministry. He can pay any price for your soul because your soul can give him the wealth. Now you know, no. They are so a value. Sir, that a girl will give her soul to rent house. To rent house. You have to lie. Compromise. Satanic merchandise. Like they can give you a visa to close your ministry forever. Oh, open door, open door. I give you five years. It's closed. Five years. You are no more into ministry. I have a guy who began to enter all kinds of businesses. The guy had passion and fire as we speak. We don't know where he is. He ran from Boya, owing almost everybody. I'm talking about a man of fire that uh, that guy evangelized. I mean, under rain, under sun, he can win your son to your soul is won. He can convert the pastor. As we speak, we don't know where the guy is. He ran out of ministry because they exchange his ministry for cash. Do not know. Gehazi. Naman does not give money for free. In Naman's money is Naman's leprosy. They are seeds you eat. You have taken a certain thing within what? Why did Elisha refuse the money? Elisha did not have the desire to deal with that leprosy. Gehazi thought that my master hates money. No, it's not that I hate money. But that money is a satanic merchandise. They want to give me cash and give me sickness. So some people give you thought they love you, but they call you something bigger. Now you always get sick because somebody gave you cash. I met a guy who became very strong. He was a millionaire. He became nothing. Somebody gave him a gift, 2000 Gift. Money for money. The money that has a magnetic force. The people that give you money, it goes to your cupboard and it begins to attract money instead to them. So their money becomes a butter. He opens your money, stop passing through. Think I'm joking. Where's Yvette? I give him more money, 100 francs. Remember? What happened? She said, Money did not finish in the house. Everything she wanted to do, she did them. Somebody gave her money. My money became a butter. Sir, there are two kinds of beggars. Some beggars are a butter to poverty, and some are a butter to riches. There are people who are not beggars. They are a gate to poverty. Satan kept them there to make emotional Christians put their money in a coffer that has to offer a coffin. Some people, after a good act, they lost their child. You show somebody love and you lost your destiny. Some beggars are potters. Put your money in their hand. That's all. Don't give by emotion. Give by direction. Except you have the power to deal with what we are giving. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Satanic merchandise. Somebody comes to your shop and buys one bed. You think they like you. He wants to use the bed to stop other people from coming to buy. I don't want to see Africa here. It's not a joke. Basically, I can't buy bread for your shop. Then goes without bread, doesn't eat it, Put the bed on an altar. As long as that bed is on that altar, you cannot succeed in business. They carry your one product to their altar. That's all. As the thing is in that altar, let me see how you succeed in business. Let me see. They have put the entire shop. Say, I'm not selling. I'm not selling. One guy, a girl gave him a suit. That suit was a portal to immorality. Pastor the man delivered him. As he wore that suit, girls that cannot attract him normally began to appeal to him. He has slept with many of them and the entire crusade. Pastor the man said, The suit that he gave you, yes, sir, bring it. As they set the thing on fire, the guy began manifesting the demon. The gift was a gate to a demonic realm. Who gave you a chain? Who gave you a book? Who gave you a pen? Who gave you, who gave you a dress to wear even? What are they carry? Carry clothes. Satanic merchandise. Who has monetized your affliction? You're not angry yet, right? Let 
is what is the use of Judas repenting after I've been arrested? Why are you repenting? You don't sponge you to the great. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have really scandalized me. It's not a joke. Some things you call government contract is government contact. They want to connect your spiritual umbilical cord to a source, keep you down. They are put the day they had a job, their desire for God died. It's not because they have a job. That job was a gate to keep them out of God forever and ever. My father gave you ten thousand in the camp. You came and gave me. I've not used it. It's my wallet. I can't use it. It's a gate. If we say airport, who's that playing Golan? You need the answer now. If we say airport, who's that playing Golan? There are monies you receive. Don't buy with it. If I give you money, Shrek, keep that money. Please give money. Go pay your school fees, and they eat on merchandise. That money, say, pass your pass. He helped me. He helped me. He didn't help you. He held you. Yes. Don't even know what the apostle say. He said, "Don't despise the gift that came by what laying of my hands." A woman touched Jesus in Matthew nine. Something left him. No, no, no. I said, eh, something left God. A woman touched Papa God in the flesh. Something left him. Jesus lost something by contact. He was going to heal Jairus' daughter that died at the age of twelve. The woman had a twelve years problem. She looked at him and by spiritual merchandise she collected another person's miracle. So if Jesus was not sensitive, he will arrive at home without the power to change the case. So sometimes in the taxi, on your way to pray for that person, the grace to heal her was collected by a mama that could see. The mama could see you carry a power, but you don't know. As she became her, just shift so as she shifted, I collect. Collector, you now went there. You know you can prophesy. Why is your eye closed? They took it now. Don't take them. You have arrived. The where's the power? Open your hands. Whatsoever was calling from you as a priest of God today, there shall be a double restoration. Some person touched Jesus, he lost something. He stood, he said, Virtue has left me. Are you me, sir? Who is talking? Who? Somebody touched Jesus. He said, Hey, I don't feel normal. Power has left me. Who did you greet? Not everybody like you. Some people are spiritual. They don't greet for fancy, they greet for transaction. People are wicked too. Some boys don't go shrine. Don't tell the boy. Any girl you can do this with, the grace in her to become a millionaire, you collect it. He now calls you, gives you chicken, you eat, and then touch you somewhere. As he touch you, you go home feeling different. You may be alive, but the power to make you survive as an alive woman is no longer there. You are an empty container waiting for your day of death. A boy is succeeding on the strength of your star. You call him a scammer. Many of these scammers name Boya. One guy came to me and confessed and said, Sir, I got diabolic as a scammer. You have to take girls' destinies and the girls didn't know. You are eating big fish, but you are the fish. You are the fish. You are the meal. So why boy go sleep will you give 500,000? Wait some get the limit and 1,000. Why will the guy sleep with you for 500,000? Who are you? So, if he can give me 500k to sleep with me, what do I really have in the spirits that he has seen? Imagine me being a pastor and the oil to function is no longer there. I come and start telling stories. I went there, this happened. What happened here? You remember that, right? Did a short person get tall? Eh? Good. He was there in that crusade. The first thing I did, I said, You come. A lady who was short, you were there. Her height increased instantly. 
I'm not just talking. I prayed for seven hours in the car. I'm going to remember that seven hours. They cannot sit on the road. There are highway spirits. Hey, you want to go and get a visa, and they see the star to get it because your pastor's prayer became a currency. They collect it and they impact their children with. So unbeliever has visa. The believer is suffering. That error must be corrected. I hear Solomon say, "I've seen a wonder on the earth, a great wickedness." He said, "I've seen sons. They are walking on foot. Their servants are on horses." What happened? I prophesy. Every demonic exchange. You are taking it back. You are taking it back. Let me do and close. Let's just attire. I will preach pastor. Judges 16, verse 5. You can sit down. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. You went to evangelize. You know, you know, the guy you went to preach to is a great Satanist. You don't know. So, okay, man, pray for me. As you hold hands, it leaves, enters. You leave back. Papa, I'm no longer seeing clearly again. No. Where did you go? Simple. Mama, madam, papa, brother. Person touched Jesus. Something living. One time God told me, there's someone that touches your Bible, you lose something. Satanic merchandise. Look at that. Want to very go? Yes? Yes. Look for a way. Uh-huh. I'll afflict him, yes? Want to monetize his affliction. So go and tell him you love him. Some people don't love you. They have been sent to end your ministry. He didn't touch you. They have been sent to end your business. But thank God for this meeting. Where we read, we discovered that a young lady's possession was the prosperity of her masters. They kept her down to remain up. I told people, I said, when you miss church, the demon that kept you home came to church to collect what was for you in that church. You think it's a joke? It's true. Job missed a meeting. Lucifer answered her present. The sons of God gather. Where is Job? He's enjoying with his children. They said, okay, since I stop you, let me go attend. Ah, what are they? I, said, I, consider Job. I came for him. In this church now, I'm here. Give me. One day a man missed a meeting. He missed a prayer time. It's down here. Every time you have to pray, it's a chance to go to court. He missed a prayer time. Lost everything. Merchandise. Consecrate me now. I want you to understand that some people use evil occurrences for their business. There is no profitless affliction. It always profits the one causing it. You see a young man held down by addiction and demonic lifestyle. They don't know they are profiting the enemy. Luke chapter 8 verse 45 and 46. Luke chapter 8 verse 45. Are you ready to pray? Let's look at that scripture. Look at that. Let's read together. Who touched me? Said Master, with the crowd and they press you. How can you say who touched you? Why? There are greetings and there's a greeting. There's a greeting with a motive. Solomon says, Her eyelids seduce thee. Let me not catch that one. There are women that their eye is an invitation. They didn't catch that one. You know, talk better ask you out. Now you go to ask he out so that I may take you out of life. He says, Somebody has touched me for I perceive virtue is gone out. 
You see, energy has left me. Be careful of the gatherings you go to. My ex, 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 sacreds, ex, baptist reds, ex, lycerets. I'm meeting, gathering, gathering, gathering. Some people coming up for an assignment. Let me see who is doing better than us. Let's collect it. The world is wicked. You're young, they send you to Boya to, you know, study or do whatever you're doing. And you're messing up. I hope you know that that guy driving those big cars that slept with you is strong because of you. Just hope you know. Not man. Give money with leprosy. You are eating seed. Do you have grace to cancel leprosy? This I'm sending a seed. Sometimes demons accompany sacrifice. How to deal with satanic merchandise? Number one, spiritual sensitivity. I'm going to guys, my open no. When they came to your house, right? Late at night. I didn't even greet her. God says something ought to happen. Go there and pray. I went to the world because I saw something. You can be so close to death and not know. You are dying now. Wine. Look at Job's children. Job's kids were one minute to die and they were drinking wine. They didn't know that they are quarter to exist in the earth. Five minutes for an accident. Everybody in the car is discussing. Five minutes after, they are in eternity on a line going for judgment. Five minutes. Five minutes ago, the guy was talking to his girlfriend with all joy. I'm coming to see you. One minute after, the guy is in eternal line waiting for judgment. And the bodies left to be buried because he did not know that after this call is a higher call. I was in Kumba, you were there, that was the church. Oh, prophecy. Oh. Remember that, that program? Prophecy for church, big, big church. The whole row, one after the other. They carried me in the car to another church again. I was for the whole church. When I got home, one of the texts him and said, Sir, I saw you dying, and I had a computer that is from God. Sir, I saw you dying. Eh. I said, I can't die. I entered the room. I took a 30 minutes prayer. I prayed until prayer knew that he has prayed. So I pray until I sweat from head to pants. Don't pray until you are tired. Pray until the power is tired. He has hammer. You have no hammer. He that is on the way to hammer, hammer's prayer. Nobody is praying with me today. Are you angry at where you are? Your eyes must be open. That old woman that wants to take your life, she wants to increase her age. With your age, she will not succeed. Fire will burn that kingdom today. Number two, you need power. The kingdom of God is not in work. It is in... It is in... Before you open your shop, open your heaven. There's a lot catching now. Before you open your shop, open your heaven. Before you look for a man to date, open your heaven. It's a power tussle. Ladies and gentlemen, when Paul saw the lady, ladies and gentlemen, saw the fame of Paul, met the masters to send the girl to say it's a man of God. If he endorse a confession, he increase your business. They will power jump. The lesser power shall bow. The boss saw her. Talk to her. He looked beyond the girl. After today, you look at your mother. Look at your brother. Which demon is in her? I want to take my priesthood. Yes, I rebuke you. The demon left. The business closed. Power is the currency that can bail you out of satanic merchandise. Power is the currency that can bail you out. Maybe you took your age. You had to live to 90. That's a speak right now. On your head is 40. Something must happen. You must enter demonic warehouses and collect our things by fire. For no one. A strong man's house and spoil his good, but if you find a strong man, you can't be sick every month. You need power, you need power, you need power. Who took my 
my star, look at my glory. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. You fail or not? Taking it back. Taking it back. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power 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 is on your no more of this one. No more of this one. I am free from satanic merchandise. Who stole my grace? Who stole my gift? Who stole my calling? Who stole my passion? Who stole my favor? Who stole my glory? Hey! Restore, restore. I hear the Bible say, I will restore the years. The womb, the palm womb, the people's eating. I will restore, restore my eyes. I want to see, but I cannot see well. Restore my eyes. Blindness first. Fire next. Restore my ministry growth. Blindness first. Fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next. Restore my marriage. Blindness first. They are not watching me right now. You are at a point in your life. Nothing to suffer because somebody put a merchandise on your destiny. You may think you have money. They think about it. You can be more than this. Who enter your shop and took your product to an altar? Who enter the church? One woman came here one time. Some months ago, a woman came here and was touching some chairs in church. When she touched the chairs, she began to move like a snake. She was manifesting. What was she doing? She was planting a demon here. And I saw the woman. She began to kabash. And the power broke out. Who went out my house with an agenda? You tell me with an agenda. Just pray! 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 We cannot end here. We cannot end here. We cannot end here. This is not my level. If you address this, then you take it. Yeah. If you are shooting this, then you take it off.
woman is no longer there you are an empty container waiting for your day of death a boy is succeeding on the strength of your star you call him a scammer many of these scammers name boy one guy came to me and confessed and said sir i got diabolic as a scammer they have to take girls destinies and the girls didn't know you are eating big fish but you are the fish you are the fish you are the meal so why boy go sleep will you give 500,000? Wait some get the limit at 1,000. Why will a guy sleep with you for 500,000? Who are you? So if he can give me 500k to sleep with me, what do I really have in the spirits that he has seen? Imagine me being a pastor and the choir to function is no longer there. I come and start telling stories. I went there, this happened. What happened here? You remember that, right? Did a short person get tall? Eh? Good. He was in that crusade. The first thing I did, I said, You come. A lady who was short, you were there. Her height increased instantly. I'm not just talking. I prayed for seven hours in the car. I'm going to remember that seven hours they cannot sit on the road there are highway spirits hey you want to go and get a visa and they see the start to get it because your pastor's prayer became a currency they collect it and they impact their children with so unbeliever has visa the believer is suffering that error must be corrected i hear solomon say i've seen a wonder on the earth a great wickedness he said i've seen songs they are walking on foot their servants are horses what happened? I prophesy. Every demonic exchange. You are taking it back. You are taking it back. Let me do and close. Let us attire of a preach pastor. Judges 16, verse 5. You can sit down. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. You went to evangelize. You know, the guy you went to preach to is a great Satanist. You don't know. It's okay, man. Pray for me. As you hold hands, he leaves, enters. You leave back. Papa, I'm no longer seeing clearly again, no. Where did you go? Simple. Mama, madam, papa, brother. Person touched Jesus. Something living. One time God told me, there's someone that touches your Bible, you lose something. Satanic merchandise. Look at that. Want to very go? Yes? Yes. Look for a way. Uh huh. I'll afflict him, yes? I want to monetize his affliction. So go and tell him you love him. Some people don't love you. They have been sent to end your ministry. He didn't touch you. They have been sent to end your business. But thank God for this meeting. Where we read, we discovered that a young lady's possession was the prosperity of her masters. They kept her down to remain up. I told you, I said, when you miss church, the demon that kept you home came to church to collect what was for you in that church. You think it's a joke? It's true. Job missed a meeting. Lucifer answered present. The sons of God gather. Where is Job? He's enjoying with his children. They said, okay, since I stop you, let me go attend. Ah. Uh, I came for him. Give me church now. I'm here. Give me. One day a man missed a meeting. He missed a prayer time. Mr. Oni. Every time you have to pray, it's a chance to go to court. He missed.
finished the prayer time. You lost everything. Merchandise. Consecrate me now. I want you to understand that some people use evil occurrences for their business. There is no profitless affliction. It always profits the one causing it. You see a young man held down by addiction and demonic lifestyle. They don't know they are profiting the enemy. Luke chapter 8 verse 45 and 46. Are you ready to pray? Let's look at that scripture. Look at that. Let's read it together. Who touched me? Said Master, with the crowd and they press you. How can you say who touched you? Why? There are greetings and there's a greeting. There's a greeting with a motive. Solomon says, Her eyelids seduce thee. There is no cash there, man. There are women that their eye is an invitation. They didn't catch that now. You know, talk, they don't ask you out. Now you go to ask he out so that may take you out of life. He says, Somebody has touched me for I perceive virtue is gone out. You see, energy has left me. Be careful of the gardens you go to. My ex, 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 secrets, ex, baptist rets, ex, lycee rets. We are meeting, gathering, gathering, gathering. Some people coming off an assignment. Let me see who will do better than us. Let's collect it. The world is wicked. You are young girl, they send you to Boya to, you know, study or do whatever you are doing. And you are messing up. I hope you know that that guy driving those big cars that slept with you is strong because of you. Just hope you know. Not man. Give money with leprosy. You are eating seed. Do you have grace to cancel leprosy? Since I'm sending a seed, sometimes demons accompany sacrifice. How to deal with satanic merchandise? Number one spiritual sensitivity I'm going, guys, no, open, no. when they came to your house right late at night I didn't even greet her God says something ought to happen go there and pray and the world because I saw something you can be so close to death and not know you are dying now wine look at Job's children Job's kids were one minute to die and they were drinking wine they didn't know that they are quarter to exist in the earth Five minutes one accident, everybody in the car is discussing. Five minutes after they are in eternity on a line going for judgment. Five minutes. Five minutes ago, the guy was talking to his girlfriend with all joy. I'm coming to see you. One minute after, the guy is in eternal line waiting for judgment, and the bodies left to be buried because he did not know that after this call is a higher call. I was in Kumba. You were there. That was the church. Go for Fesio. Remember that, that program? Professor for church. BB church. The whole row. One after the other. They carried me a car to another church again. I brought for the whole church. When I got home, one of the texted me and said, Sir, I saw you dying. And I had a computer that is from God. Sir, I saw you dying. Eh. I said, I can't die. I entered the room. I took a 30 minutes prayer. I prayed until prayer and knew that he has prayed. Sir, I pray until I sweat from head to pants. Don't pray until you are tired. Pray until the power is tired. He has hammer. You have no hammer. He that is on the way to hammer, hammers prayer. Nobody is praying with me today. Are you angry at where you are? Your eyes must be open. That old woman that wants to take your life, she wants to increase her age. With your age, she will not succeed. Fire will burn that kingdom today. Number two, you need power. The kingdom of God is not in work. It is in... It is in... Before you 
open your shop, open your heaven. Let's look at you now. Before you open your shop, open your heaven. Before you look for a man to date, open your heaven. It's a power person. Ladies and gentlemen, when Paul saw the lady, ladies and gentlemen, saw the fame of Paul, let the masters to send the girl to say it's a man of God. If he endorse her confession, he increase your business. They will power jump. The lesser power shall bow. When Paul saw her, to her, he looked beyond the girl. After today, you look beyond your mother, you look beyond your brother. Which demon is in her that wants to take my priesthood? If I rebuke you, the demon left, the business closed. Power is the currency that can bail you out of satanic merchandise. Power is the currency that can bail you out. Let it suit your age. You have to live in. That to speak right now on your head is 40. Something must happen. You must enter demonic warehouses and collect our things by fire. So no one the strong man's house and spoil his good. But if you find the strong man, you can't be sick every month. You need power. You need power. You need power. Who took my star? Who took my glory? Power. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. Are you pain or not? I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. Power is on your side. 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 No more oppression. No more oppression. I am free from satanic merchandise. Who stole my grace? Who stole my gift? Who stole my calling? Who stole my passion? Who stole my favor? Who stole my glory? Hey! Restore, restore. I hear the Bible say, I will restore the years. The womb, the palma womb, the produce eating. I will restore, restore my eyes. I want to see, but I cannot see well. Restore my eyes. Blindness first. Fire next. Restore my ministry growth. Blindness first. Fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next. You stole my marriage. Blindness first. They are not watching me right now. You are a point in your life. Nothing to suffer because somebody is a merchandise on your destiny. You may think you have money. They think about it. You can be more than this. Go enter your shop and teach your product to an altar. Go enter the church. I was telling you one time, some months ago, a woman came here and was touching some chairs in church. When she touched the chairs, she began to move like a snake. She was manifesting. What was she doing? She was planting a demon here. I saw the woman huh, began to kabash huh, and the power broke out. Who went to my house huh, with an agenda? Who greeted me huh, with an agenda? Just pray! 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 We cannot end here. We cannot end here. We cannot end here. This is not my level. If you address this step, you take it. Hey! If you are shoot this step, you take it off. Shaka Samba Paratia Pokuma Saka 
She will not succeed. Fire will burn that kingdom today. Number two, you need power. The kingdom of God is not in words, it is in. It is in. Before you open your shop, open your heaven. There's a question now. Before you open your shop, open your heaven. Before you look for a man to date, open your heaven. It's a power. Ladies and gentlemen, when Paul saw the lady, ladies and gentlemen, so the fame of Paul made the masters to send the girl to say it's a man of God. If he endorses her confession, we increase their business. They will power jump. The lesser power shall bow. When Paul saw her, talk to her, he looked beyond the girl. After today, you look at your mother. Brother, which demon is in her that wants to take my priesthood? Since I rebuke you, the demon left, the business closed. Power is the currency that can bail you out of satanic merchandise. Power is the currency that can bail you out. Make it to your age, you have to live to 90. That's a speak right now. On your head is 40. Something must happen. Enter uh, demonic warehouses uh, and collect our things by fire uh, for no one. Uh, the strong man's house uh, and spoil his good uh, until they find the strong man. Uh, you can't be sick every month. Uh, you need power. You need power. Uh, you need power. Uh, who took my star? Uh, who took my glory? Uh, power. Uh, I'm taking it back. Uh, I'm taking it back. Uh, Pain or not, take it back, take it back. You don't serve a dead God, you serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday, he's the same today, he's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side, power 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 is on your side. No more oppression. No more oppression. I am free from satanic merchandise. Who stole my case? 
who stole my gift who stole my calling who stole my passion who stole my favor who stole my glory hey! Restore, restore. I hear the Bible say, I will restore the years. The womb, the palm, my womb, the tablet eating. I will restore, restore my eyes. I want to see. I cannot see well. Restore my eyes. Blindness first. Fire next. Restore my ministry growth. Blindness first. Fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next, fire next. You stole my marriage. Blindness first. They are not watching me right now. You are at a point in your life. Nothing to show for. Because somebody is a merchandise on your destiny. You may think you have money. They think about it. You can be more than this. Go enter your shop and put your product to an altar. Go enter the church. A woman came here one time. Some months ago, a woman came here and was touching some chairs in church. When she touched the chairs, she began to move like a snake. She was manifesting. What was she doing? She was planting a demon here. I saw the woman. She began to kabash and the power broke out. Who went to my house with an agenda? Who greeted me with an agenda? We cannot end here. We cannot end here. We cannot end here. This is not my level. If you address this step, you take it. If you are shooting, this step will take it off. Shaka 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 da, shaka 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 da. Somebody a parada mashaka. On the boa samba ka. Fire next! Fire next! Fire next! Fire next! Fire 
Christ who stole my marriage. Blindness. They're not watching me right now. You know what they point in your life. Nothing to suffer. Because somebody is a merchandise on your destiny. You may think you have money. You may think about it. You can be more than this. Who enter your shop and took your product to an altar? Who enter the church? Woman came here one time. Some months ago, a woman came here. I was touching some chairs in church. When she touched the chairs, she began to move like a snake. She was manifesting. What was she doing? She was planting a demon here. And I saw the woman. She began to kabash. And the power broke out. Who entered my house with an agenda? Who greeted me with an agenda? Just pray! 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 We cannot end here. We cannot end here. We cannot end here. This is not my level. If you address this step, you take it. Hey! If you are shoot this step, you take it off.
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 